guys, Electron Man. Well, this is going to be a, a, a real quick video here. This is going to be a, a quick little upgrade of the M72E uh, ThinkPad. I think that's what they call them, Think Center. But uh, just a short little video on how to upgrade one of these to an SSD drive. Um, I bought a couple of these, found a good deal on them, and uh, they told me that the hard drives were probably at the end of their life, and I didn't really care because... Um, you know, SSD just makes any any computer faster, and this is a little bit older generation. It is not five. They're not. They're they're pretty. Uh, they're pretty quick actually. But uh, you add an SSD drive into it, and it really perks it up. Especially you know for uh, data intensive programs that do a lot of uh, seeking of data from the hard drive, even like even things like editing video, etc. Uh, let's see if I remember this. This is a. Uh, haven't had one apart in a while. I think. I know it just slides apart, just gonna figure out where it slides. There's one screw in the back you take out, and then I know it's kind of odd, it like goes forward instead of back. There it is. Slides off like that. And there's the old critter that we're gonna replace SSD. It's actually a Western Digital Black. Interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and just get her out of here. Um, got this one one wide connector here that I'm gonna take off that's your power and your data for your SATA connection and then it's got one screw right here I mean this is a super easy job guys Oops, here's your to me if you got one of these M73s or whatever this is a almost a must-have upgrade that's oh, two screws Screw out of here. She just lifts out like that, and that's just a uh, single little plug right there. Sure, what exactly that goes to there? Trying to decide what that plug's for. That's a speaker. Wow, okay. Just <laughs> trying to figure what in the world that was. It's a itty bitty speaker. Check that guy out. And then uh then you just want to loosen this guy up. Get these screws off of here. There's your uh, 500, and I am going to go back with a, I think this is a 240 gigabyte, that's a 500 gigabyte, and this is a 204, I know I'm going down in size, but uh, for what I'm going to be using this for, it's not going to be real data intensive, I'm actually going to use this for my packet radio, and uh, cat control for my radios, so it's not going to have a, it's not going to, it's not going to be gaming or anything, and there's, you know, 250 gigabytes or 40 is more than enough for Operating system and the programs I plan on running on it, and uh, it was like under it's like 25 bucks. So I could have spent another 25 and got like a 500 or even a gig, you know. But uh, like I said, it's just for for the application I'm gonna use it for 240 is more than enough, and for a standard desktop that would be more than enough. To be honest. You know, we just want to put these screws back in, which they'll go right back in where they came from. Make sure you have it lined up right to where when you. When you map this back in here, how it came out, that the plugs line up with the power plug on the right and the data on the left. You don't want it upside down, and then the cable might not fit right. But yeah, just pay attention to that. Go ahead and get these. Yeah, hey, there's screws in here. It rides on a little rubber shock mount, which is kind of nice. And we just lightly tighten these. Like so. And then we're going to take and plug this back in here.
sticker back in. I dropped one of the screws. I did. Okay, this is size of these two little posts here. This little post here. See a post there and there. And it just slides up underneath those and then forward. Like so. Now we got them slid back in. Then we're just going to take our power plug and plug her into our new drive. Come on. Like so. I'll take our two screws here. Here, another one back in here. Like so. Make sure the fans clean while I'm in here. Everything looks good. Heat sink there for your CPU, which the CPU is changeable it's kind of limited what you can put in it but this has got an i5 in it so nothing wrong with it's gonna be no slouch anyway slide that cover back on like that take your one screw right here in the back screw it in Ta da we now have now we have a uh, ssd drive installed in one of these thick center uh, m72e's that easy literally a five minute job and we'll get you more performance than then you'll realize, I promise you. Of course, I have to go back and now and reload the operating system, but it's got a uh, code on the back, certificate with the authorization, so I should be able to reinstall it right back up to Windows and be back up and running in no time. Hopefully you enjoyed this little short video. Um, this is kind of how-to videos. Um, I figure if I'm going to do something like this, it doesn't hurt, you know. It's somebody that hasn't ever done one before, maybe that'll help you along the way. Have a great day. This is Electron Man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you know when the next cool video is.